live from Victory Church in Lakeland, Florida. It's the 25th annual Polk County Public Schools Video Awards Ceremony, featuring the creativity of over 5,000 students in 65 schools. We're able to showcase our students' work because of generous donations from Apple, Classlink, Lightspeed, the Polk Education Foundation, Camcor, Smiley's Audiovisual, Bomar Trophy Shop, Vista Audio, Men's Warehouse, and Victory Church. Introducing your marshals for this evening, Casey Geist from Spook Hill and Mia Simonetta from Boswell. And now your hosts for this evening, Dallas Gray and Alex Stevenson from Wendell Watson. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 25th Annual Video Awards Ceremony, the largest school event in Polk County Public Schools. Our 10 categories tonight will be presented by the 2017 Polk County Students of the Year. Let's give them a round of applause. As our students of the year take their seats, we need Aliyah Remazar and Ellery Pierce to come to the stage to present our first award. Teachers, please remind the students of the year to come to the stage when it is their turn to present. Tonight on this stage, we celebrate 25 years of student achievement in television production. From cameramen and editors to writers and on-screen talent, there are only winners here. Each entry confirms that our students are the best in the country. Throughout our video awards competition, we have received over 5,000 entries, recognized more than 75,000 students, and inspired a countless number of professional careers. Nine years ago, on this very stage, our guest speaker received the ITV Award for Best Female Solo Announcer. Since that time, she has gone on to earn her bachelor's degree in telecommunications, specializing in broadcast journalism from the University of Florida, worked on the Emmy-nominated pregame show, The Football Fevered, covered the Cleveland Indians baseball 2016 World Series, and is currently a news reporter for ABC6 and Fox 28 News in Columbus, Ohio. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Winter Haven's high school graduate, Miss Kaylee Mizell Vargas. Thank you guys so much. Uh, they told me that I was cool enough to say on fleek backstage, so can I just say that Everybody here looks on fleek, right? Okay, I, am I still cool enough? Yep, they said okay, I'm, I'm good. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to be here. Like they said, it was almost 10 years ago that I was up here on this stage, uh, nervous, scared, a little bit like I am now, uh, accepting an award that I know that I worked really hard for. So can we just give a round of applause to these kids that have worked so hard just to be here today? And thank you also to the parents and the teachers, the friends, the ITV staff, and the school board for putting so much effort and time into these kids and their dreams and their passions. Um, it means a lot. I, I know as a little girl, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do, but when someone fostered uh, this in me, they told me that I was really good at talking, so here you go. I, uh, I work in TV now seems right up my alley. Whenever they fostered that in me, it really meant a lot and it led me to my career. Um, and there was a lot of things actually that I've learned from ITV that I still use today in my career. Um, and not even necessarily just in my career, but in my life. And I'm going to tell you about those five things uh, right now. The first is be adaptable and innovative. A lot of times, the, the landscape of a career and an industry changes. Right now, the journalism industry is changing, as was business from 10 years ago, and uh, electronics, everything changes. And so to be successful in life and in ITV, 
you have to be adaptable and innovative. I'm sure you guys spent a lot of time storyboarding about what you wanted to do, and, and you thought, hey, I wanna do something different than all the other schools. Continue to foster that innovative spirit. Continue to think outside the box and be creative. And ITV really taught me to do that. The second thing it taught me uh, is to never miss a deadline. I'm sure we all know that one, whether uh, you are in a working field or whether uh, you have to meet this deadline for th this award show. I know it's a pretty hard deadline, so I know some students had to stay up really late a few nights to get it in in time, but that's really important to never miss a deadline. It's definitely something that ITV taught me, and it's really practical going into the real world. Another thing that ITV taught me is it's never as bad as you thought, and it's never as good as you remember. So sometimes you're going to make mistakes. Sometimes you're going to you know, fall on your face, do a, you know, mess up when you're anchoring, or shoot something wrong, or edit out a, a little glitch or something. And that's OK, because it's never as bad as you thought. And to keep you humble, it's never as good as you remember. I remember thinking times, oh my gosh, this was perfect, and I watched it back. And it wasn't as perfect as I remember. There's something that you can always learn and get better from. The fourth, or yeah, the fifth thing, fourth thing, I can't count today. The fourth thing ITV taught me was to take the time. Um, it can be really stressful when you are running out to a shoot or sending something in. But take the time to double check your batteries because that's really important. And double check your cords and your SD card. Taking those small amounts of time, those things that really only take five seconds to double check, taking the time to double check those really makes the difference between having something that is really great or having something that's just maybe mediocre. The last thing that ITV taught me was to remember the feeling. Life isn't always easy. Your career won't be always easy. Going into middle school and high school, it's not always gonna be easy. But whenever you're down in those times, whenever it's tough, whenever you're frustrated or feeling anxious, it's good to remember the feeling. Remember the feeling that you first had when you were doing what you loved. I know that for me personally, that's what pushes me forward. And in those times where it's frustrating and I wanna give up and quit, I remember being back on this stage nine years ago and I remember the feeling that I had and I take that with me everywhere. So um, superintendents and the school board, I just wanna let you know, thank you so much for, for putting all the time and energy and money into this program because it helps students not only in their journalism careers, if that's where they choose to go, but in every single field that they could ever wanna be in. And students, I encourage you to continue to be creative, to not miss your deadlines, to remember the feeling, to be adaptable, to take the time, and to remember that it's never as bad as it seems, and that there is always something you can learn to do better. Again, thank you for having me here tonight. I really appreciate it. I also wanna give a special shout out to my mom who fostered a lot of this in me. She's the teacher at BDTV uh, in Winter Haven, so I am really thankful for you, mom. I appreciate all of you. Have a wonderful award ceremony tonight. Thank you, Kaylee. Let's get right to our first award, presented by the fabulous announcing team from Horizons Elementary, Audrey England and Sarah Klopp. In film as in life, the briefest moments cleave the most lasting impressions. Even though these films are only under 10 minutes long, they stay with us long after we watch. And here are the nominees for Best Short Film. Blake Academy, Run Wild, Southwest, Believing is Sea, Sykes, The Classroom, Lofman Oaks, Weirdest Wednesday Ever.
Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Short Film, Ms. Aliyah Ramasar from Alta Vista Elementary and Ms. Ellery Pierce from Blake Academy. And the best short film goes to... Southwest Elementary, Believing is Seeing. This is Southwest's first win and second nomination for short film. My name is Elizabeth, and I have a story to tell you. Not like a fairy tale story with a princess and a castle, a real story about me, an ordinary little girl, and my imaginary friend, Sparkle. The funny thing about Sparkle is that I'm the only one who can see her. Well, I thought I was the only one. My imaginary friend first found me when I started kindergarten. I had moved to a new house and a new school in a new town. It seemed like everything was new. I might have felt just a little lonely. Then one day, Sparkle found me, and I wasn't lonely anymore. Thank you for this award and understanding our sense of humor for Sparkle. I believe my favorite moment of this entry was when Mr. Lynch was when Miss Lynch looks at Lizzie's feet, and Sparkle is too tall for that. She is way taller than that. I would like to give a special thank to my mom and stepdad for their support. I also need to thank Ms. Care and the SWTV crew for making this short film happen. And a huge thank you goes to Elizabeth Allen, our newest crew member. Good job, you did it. I was shaking so This category challenged schools to present a lesson in a core subject to foster student engagement in the classroom. Here are the nominees for the best instructional academic video. Polk City, Code for Kids. Wendell Watson, Let's Get to Know Your Library. Southwest, Southwest Thesaurus and the Drill. Brigham Academy, Let's Learn About Atoms. Spessard L. Holland, Time. R. Bruce Wagner, Dig Down Deep. Lofman Oaks, Regrouping Ninja. Palmetto, Book Corner. Davenport School of the Arts, In the Garden with Granny. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Instructional Academic Video, Ms. Mia Simonetta from Boswell Elementary and Ms. Avery Brown from Brigham Academy. And the ITV Award goes to... Davenport School of the Arts Elementary in the Garden with the Dream. This is Davenport School of the Arts first win for instructional academic video. teach you little whippersnappers a little bit about some of the things that make up my garden. Some are helpful little creatures and some are not so helpful. We'll start off our tour with these sweet little ladies right here. Welcome to the garden. We are so glad to see you here. My friends and I love it when you come out here to learn about the little plants and creatures that live out here. You've probably guessed by now that I'm a ladybug. 
You can tell by my pretty coloring and spots, although I think I'm kind of cute. Actually, my coloring isn't very appetizing to other creatures out here. That is one way I protect myself. I also taste very yucky because I have this fluid in my joints that I secrete to ward off my enemies. I'm also good at playing dead. Thank you much, very much. We're honored to be here. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> Congratulations on that informational video. Please welcome to the stage the marvelous announcing team from Caldwell Elementary, Haley Bradley and Savannah Perez. Documentary Scour the Globe to bring light to stories that may have otherwise remained hidden. Their efforts uncover hidden beauty, give voice to the voiceless, and dare to speak the powerful truths. Here are the nominees for the best documentary. Kathleen, Autism Awareness. R. Bruce Wagner, Just Read. Southwest, Return to Recess. Garner, Heart Health. Spessard L. Holland, Renovating Tigertown. Lofman Oaks, from Garden to Plate. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Documentary, Mr. Jacek Vega from Chain of Lakes Elementary and Mr. Connor Davis from Churchwell Elementary. And the ITV Award goes to... Lockman Oaks Elementary. <laughs> This is Lofman Oaks' first win and third nomination for documentary. Where does my salad come from? Great question, Maria. This year, Lofman Oaks has teamed up with Duke Energies and community volunteers to create a sustainable garden. Students are able to help plant vegetables and herbs to see the process of getting our food from the garden to your plate. Let's look at how we got our garden together. television or films, we so enjoy the finished product that we often forget the tireless efforts of those behind the scenes. These unsung heroes strive each day to make these videos come to life through editing, cinematography, and script writing. Here are the nominees for Best Technical Mastery. Brigham Academy, the ghost from yearbook past. Lofman Oaks, Every Dog Has Its Day. Davenport School of the Arts, In the Garden with Granny. Alta Vista, A Susical News Show. Southwest, Jedi Editors. Blake Academy, Word of the Week, Momentum. Spessard L. Holland, Dreaming. Now presenting the ITV Award for Technical Mastery, Mr. Dax Brooks from Davenport School of the Arts and Ms. Crystal LaSanta from Garner Elementary. And the winner of the ITV Award goes to Brigham Elementary, the Ghost from Yearbook Past.
This is Brigham Academy's first win for technical mastery. By yearbook. Poor kid. I learned that lesson last year. Do I still say it? To start off, I would like to thank Miss Boland our production crew, and our parents. They've been there to support us all year. Please join us in congratulating our schools who bring Polk County's standard of excellence to the rest of the country. And now it's an honor to welcome to the stage the superintendent of Polk County Public Schools, Ms. Jacqueline Bird. Good evening, and welcome to the Video Award Ceremony. For over 25 years, Polk County Public Schools has been the leader in television production education in Florida. What you see on the stage tonight is just a small sample of what our students produce each and every day. Whether they are working on a documentary, news show, or music video, students showcase their creati creativity and grasps of the 21st century. We want to thank all of our students for everything that they have done. On behalf of Polk County Public Schools, thank you again to our teachers and parents for your unwavering support of our students. And we want to say thank you also for your guidance and encouragement tonight. Without you, it would not be possible. And students, I would like to congratulate you all for your hard work and dedication to make this event the largest showcase of student-produced work in the nation. They deserve a round of applause for that. <laughs> Students, your work is nothing short of amazing. We are so proud of your accomplishments and look forward to seeing what else you will achieve in the future. Congratulations. Thank you, Superintendent Bird, for that wonderful speech. Now please welcome to the stage the sensational announcing team from Davenport School of the Arts, Emily Alvarado and Madison Doherty. Throughout history, there have been many great teams, Timon and Pumbaa, Lilo and Stitch, and of course, Taylor Swift and whomever she's dating at this moment. <laughs> Our nominees are no different. As you hear your names called, please come up to the front of the stage to be recognized. Here are all the nominees for Best Announcing Team. Lofman Oaks, Janessa Baker and Jensen Dale. Polk City, Kara Todd and Eileen Lang. Horizons, Audrey England and Sarah Clough. R. Bruce Wagner, Casey Anderson and Ashley Logan. Davenport School of the Arts, Emily Alvarado and Madison Doherty. Southwest, Deanara Martinez and Lana Riley. Sleepy Hill, Liliana Echevarria and Ariana Myers. Wendell Watson, Diana Knowles and Lakin Ramey. Spessard L. Holland, Tonia Patterson and Riley Waltz. Caldwell, Haley Bradley and Savannah Perez. 
Philip O'Brien, Naomi Garner, and Presley Hicks. Alta Vista, Aliyah Ramazar and Alyssa Ramazar. Brigham Academy, Madeline Hamm and Brianna Brantley. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Announcing Team, Ms. Ariel Morjean from Horizons Elementary and Mr. Christian Dugan from Jesse Keene Elementary. And the ITV Awards go to... Left, Left Man Oaks Elementary! <laughs> second win and fourth nomination for announcing team. It's Friday, December 9th, and we're live at the Gingerbread Shop. Did you know Santa goes all around the world in one night, and his first stop is Japan? Hey, that happens to be where Ben is this week. There are so many amazing things at the Gingerbread Shop. I just can't decide whether I should get this or this. I love the Gingerbread Shop. That's not the only fascinating thing going on around campus. These PBS winners are pretty amazing too. Hi everybody. First off, we would like to thank our ITV teachers and students for pushing us this far to become what we are now. I'd also like to thank my parents. You would like to thank yours too, right? Yeah. <laughs> for letting us come here and also our principal for letting us participate in ITV. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, you are a marvelous announcing team. Please welcome to the stage the impressive announcing team from Horizons Elementary, Audrey England and Sarah Club. Amy Clark was the first female to solo host a primetime news program. She paved the way for other industry females striving to make their mark. This year, our female anchors and reporters have lifted the lid of our expectations. Don't blink or you will mess out on some great performances. As your names are called, please come to the front of the stage to be recognized. And here are the nominees for Best Female Announcer. Spessard L. Holland, Emma Castleberry, R. Bruce Wagner, Kylie Anderson, Polk City, Kara Todd, Carlton Palmore, Adeline Earl, Alta Vista, Skyla Vasquez, Davenport School of the Arts, Ellie Cuvetier. Caldwell, Sophia Benedetti. Wendell Watson, Dallas Gray. Sleepy Hill, Ileana Cruz. Horizons, Daniela Hernandez. Southwest, Leonara Martinez. Lofman Oaks, Diana Roman. Boswell, Mia Saminetta. Churchwell, Peyton Hawk. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Female Announcer, Ms. Vegas Williams from Lofman Oaks Elementary and Ms. Dahlia Barnes from Philip O'Brien Elementary. And the winner is... Wendell Watson Elementary, Dallas Gray. This is Wendell Watson's first win and seventh nomination for female announcer. Good morning, I'm Dallas, and boy am I excited! I'm standing here in the book fair. Now, whether you're a Pete the Cat fan or even a Harry Potter fan, there are hundreds of books here, which means there's a book for you. Now, what do you have to do if you want to be great at something in life? Well, you gotta practice, practice, practice. 
Now, for instance, I take tap lessons, and boy, do I practice hours and hours. Thank you for this award. I'm really excited. Um, I, would I would first like to start off um, thanking Ms. Rodriguez for giving me this opportunity to be um, on my news program at my school. And I would also like to thank my mom and dad for caring and loving me so much to bring me here and supporting me. I would also like to thank my sister because if it wasn't for her, then I probably would have never made it this far in video awards. Please welcome to the stage the spectacular announcing team from Brigham Academy, Madeline Hamm and Brianna Brantley. Oh, wait. From Walter Cronkite's coverage of the Apollo moon landing to Tom Brokaw's coverage of the election of America's first African American president, every major event in recent history has been covered by news anchors. Through professionalism, poise, and journalistic, journalistic ability, our male anchors have raised the standard by which these legends and all of the news anchors are measured. As you hear your names called, please come to the front of the stage to be recognized. Here are the nominees for Best Male Announcer. Horizons, Ryan Fight. Polk City, Benjamin Hawkins. Professor L. Holland, Kyle Beasley, Carlton Palmore, Martell Thomas, Lothman Oaks, Benjamin Gamachi, Brigham Academy, Austin Schnell, Garner, Logan Kempton, Davenport School of the Arts, Marcus Montez Cruz. Philip O'Brien, Braden Creel. Southwest, Jafar Curry. Blake Academy, Asher Barber. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Male Announcer, Ms. Kara Todd from Polk City Elementary and Ms. Kylie Anderson from Arbrus Wagner Elementary. Kyle Beasley from Special Ed L. Holland. This is Spessard L. Holland's second win and sixth nomination for Male Announcer. Hi Gators, my name is Kyle and Burr, do you know what today is? It's December 1st. Today's day is December 1st, 2016 and GNN will start now. Gators, do you like to walk? Well, our walkathon is going to be held December 14th, so make sure you're there. Well, Gators, this is the end of our show, so make sure you keep wearing your jackets and jeans. Now, I'll go back to Santa Claus, and I'm going to be watching y'all. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank my parents for bringing me here and supporting me, and I'd like to thank my teachers, Mr. Cochran and Miss Lake, for noticing my my um, my hard work and my effort put into my videos, and thank you. Congratulations on being an outstanding anchor. Please welcome to the stage the magnificent announcing team from Codwell Elementary, Haley Bradley and Savannah Perez. The popularity of the MTV ushered in a new generation of songwriters and directors collaborating to produce unbelievable music videos. Unlike their professional counterparts, our students must traverse the complicated world of copyright law to produce these great pieces of art. Here are the nominees for the best music videos. Davenport School of the Arts, Pinwheel. Southwest, Three Little Words. Lofman Oaks, Choose to Read. R. Bruce Wagner, 
Wagner Rocks, Pass It On, Spessard L. Holland, Gator Song. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Music Video, Mr. Elijah Lowe from Sykes Elementary and Ms. Ileana Cruz from Sleepy Hill Elementary. And the ITV Award goes to Southwest Elementary, Three Little Words. This is Southwest's second win and sixth nomination for music video. my first time. I would like to thank um, my SWTV crew and Miss Care. I would like to thank my mom for letting me join, Mrs. Care for accepting me, and I just love being here, <laughs> even though this is my first year. <laughs> you want to say anything or are you done? Congratulations on that entertaining music video. Please welcome to the stage the wonderful announcing team from Spessard L. Holland Elementary, Tania Patterson and Riley Waltz. Commercials can be more than just marketing tools. They can make us laugh, cry, and inspire us to change the world. But above all else, they are able to accomplish this in under 60 seconds. Here are the nominees for best commercial. Lothman Oaks, In Case of Emergency. Brigham Academy, The Ghost from Yearbook Past. Southwest, Lego Box Tops. Valley View, The Mannequin Challenge. Wendell Watson, Jungle Book Kids. Alta Vista, The PBIS Store. Chain of Lakes, online resources. Sykes, lunchroom behavior. Davenport School of the Arts, candy wrapper. Jewett School of the Arts, commercial. Jesse Keene, holiday math night. Caldwell, drop it. Lewis Anna Woodbury, yearbooks on sale. Blake Academy, Boo Graham commercial. Spessard L. Holland, drink milk. R. Bruce Wagner, play box tops on the go. Polk City, going fast. 
Sleepy Hill, Chapter Book Challenge, Carlton Palmore, Accelerated Reader Challenge. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Commercial, Mr. William Coral from Southwest Elementary and Mr. Kyle Beasley from Spessard L. Holland Elementary. This year, we had three commercials that our judges had difficulty on deciding which was best. When you hear your name announced, please bring your school to the steps at the front of the stage. Presenters, tell us who our first nominee for the People's Choice Award is. The first nominee is... Southwest Elementary. Hi Spurs, do you know what this is? It's a box top. Hi Nate, I'm just reminding the Spurs to bring in box tops. Why do you need box tops? Because you can do this. Oh wow, well. money. And watch what happens if you have more box tops. You can win awesome prizes like ice cream, dress out days, and a stegosaurus and a land speeder. Whoa, whoa, hold it. You're gonna have to wait on those. Maybe if we saved up enough box tops, we could buy a white seat. Let's keep it small for right now. Okay, fine. Let's go. I'm running the Stegosaurus. I guess I'm stuck in the land speeder. Let's see how many box tops you can find. Presenters, tell us who our second nominee for the People's Choice Award is. The second nominee is... Spessardale Holland Elementary. <laughs> It's an important role of building strong bones. It also helps build strong muscles so I can do this. Last but not least, presenters, please tell us who our third nominee for the People's Choice Award is. The third nominee is... Davenport School of the Arts. <laughs> In a world where candy wrappers are all around, a guy like me kind of feels like To decide, refer to the screens on instructions on how to cast your vote. Wow, look, Davenport took a very early lead. But the other, the other schools are catching up. 
Come on, I know there are more phones than that. Get your phones out. If you are watching on YouTube or you're sitting at home on your TV, you can still vote. Davenport's still in the lead. And the People's Choice Award for commercial is Davenport School of the Arts. Please see one of our marshals to receive your plaque. Presenters, please tell us who the judges chose for best commercial. And the ITV award goes to Davenport School of the Arts. This is Davenport School of the Arts' second win and seventh nomination for commercial. Thank you so much for this award, especially for our little Kit Kat. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, there we go. Congratulations to our winners. Our last category for the evening is announced a little differently. When you hear your school's name among the nominees, please send the TV teacher and one student to the front of the stage to be recognized. Please welcome to the stage the incredible announcing team from Davenport School of the Arts, Emily Al Al Alvarado and Madison Doherty. Throughout the night, you have seen some of the components that go into producing a daily news show. All of these elements come together to create a more engaging platform for students to stay informed about current events. As you hear your names called, please send your ITV teacher and student of the year to the front of the stage to be recognized. Here are the, man here are the nominees for best daily news show. Garner. R. Bruce Wagner. Chain of Lake. Sleepy Hill, Philip O'Brien, Southwest, Spessard L. Holland, Brigham Academy, Alta Vista. Wendell Watson, Davenport School of the Arts, Blake Academy, Sykes, Lofman Oaks, Caldwell, Now presenting the ITV Award for Daily News Show, Ms. Addison Hermes from Wendell Watson Elementary. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause to the best news shows in the nation. We will now reveal the schools who have received a score between 90 and 100 percent. Presenters, please tell us who our superior news shows are. And the ITV award goes to Lofman Oaks Elementary. <laughs> and the second nominee goes to Southwest Elementary. And the third nominee is Brigham Academy. And the fourth nominee is Davenport School of the Arts. And the fifth nominee is 
Sleepy Hill Elementary. As our schools receive their trophies and make their way off the stage, please take a moment to look at the screen for the excellent news shows that scored between 80 and 89%. Congratulations to all of our winning schools. Each year, we recognize those teachers that have given 10 years of service to ITV. This year, we honor Mr. Matthew Cochran from Spessard L. Holland and Ms. Laura Dickey from Alta Vista. Please come to the stage to receive your plaques and iPads for your program. Thank you for your service. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause to Mr. Daniel Farr and the Winter Havens High School Jazz Band for their outstanding performance this evening. This is Winter Haven's first year performing during our ceremony. Before that, Southwest Middle School's Jazz Band performed on this stage for over a decade. Tonight we would like to recognize Mr. Jeff Kerr, Southwest former band director, for his assistance for all those years. Mr. Kerr, please come to the stage so we may present you with a plaque and thank you in proper fashion. Look at the screen at the nominees for teacher or school related employee of the year who have helped with the ITV program in their schools. We would like to congratulate one of the TV teachers from R. Bruce Wagner, Ms. Lois Horn Diaz, for becoming the 2017 Polk County Teacher of the Year. As we all know, it takes a lot of hard work and dedication to get a television production program off the ground. That's why we created the Michael Robertson Most Improved Award. This school had the most progress from the previous year. When you hear your name called, please come to the stage to receive your certificate. Presenting this award tonight, we are honored to welcome back to the stage, Mr. Michael Robertson. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I never dreamed I'd come back, but I am honored with this special award for the most improved elementary school in our county. And this year's award goes to Polk City Elementary. We would like all of us to thank our principal, Ms. Hancock, our teachers, and our ITV teacher, Ms. Beeman. Our most distinguished honor of the evening is the Dr. David Yates Best in Show Award. Unfortunately, Dr. Yates could not be here with us tonight due to traveling, but he will be here joining us by live video feed. Ladies and gentlemen, the creator of video awards, Dr. Yates. And the best in show for elementary schools for 2017 is Lofman Oaks. Wow, 
Oh, thank you so much. We have a really exciting new year. We have a brand new team, and we're so proud of them. They've worked really hard. I've got to give it all to the kids. They've done all the work. Thank you, Ms. Aponte, for supporting our program and for the tireless efforts of Mr. DeGraff and Mr. Gamash also. Thank you so much. Congratulations on Best in Show. What an honor. Our final award for the evening celebrates a school's year-long commitment to following the best practices of a television production news program. Please welcome to the stage Dr. Tina Berrios, Assistant Superintendent, and Ms. Christy Devane, Director of School Technology Services. As we close our ceremony this evening, we are excited to announce a new award recognition for elementary schools who have demonstrated a grand effort to produce a daily news show which follows a minimum of 75% of the ITV best practices, submit three news shows and videos for two other categories in the video awards competition, and most importantly, utilize the team approach of two or more teachers to lead the ITV programs. Originally, one school was to be selected. However, there were so many that followed ITV best practices, it was impossible to just pick one. So if your school is called, Please stand with your team and remain standing until the winners are announced. Each winner will receive a certificate of recognition, which will be in your school packet. Caldwell Elementary. <laughs> Wendell Watson Elementary. <laughs> Philip O'Brien Elementary. <laughs> Lofman Oaks Elementary. Chain of Lakes Elementary. Davenport School of the Arts. Southwest Elementary. Spessard L. Holland Elementary. R. Bruce Wagner Elementary. And Brigham Academy. Congratulations to those schools and let's give them all a round of applause. Congratulations to all of our winners. We hope you had a wonderful evening. Don't forget to pick up your certificates before you leave. They are located at the doors. A through I is on that side. And J through Z is on the other side of the sanctuary. We'll see you next year at the 2018 Polk County Video Awards. Good night.